People seem to have a desire for attention, and they also have a desire to be left alone. And I think that's maybe one of the challenges that we face in today's society, especially with social media and things like that. Because on one hand, we more than ever before are potentially connected to each other and we have the ability to share things freely and we have a desire to, to get attention and to be recognized in addition to having the capacity to share things easily and easily get recognition from others. So it's, it's super easy to share things. It's super easy to put yourself out there. It's super easy to, to have these sort of connections, if you will. And then it's also super easy to, to ghost people or to just kind of decide, all right, I, I don't feel super comfortable with a particular situation or a particular person. So instead of being honest, I'm just going to, you know, maybe get a silence, say nothing, and just kind of leave somebody hanging. And it's really interesting how these two things seem to go hand in hand. It's not that people just kind of don't give other people the time of day. It's more nuanced than that, because in addition to maybe totally not giving people the time of day, a lot of us are inclined to also go out of our way to get attention. And it doesn't really make sense that we're this way, that we will go out of our way to get the attention of others and then also go out of our way to essentially ignore people when we don't feel like communicating. And I think if you, if you had the opportunity to spend time with somebody in reality, like let's just say we're all stranded on a desert island, right? The truth is we're going to all get along. We'll figure it out. And if you have to see somebody every single day, then on some level you figure out how to communicate because you don't have the option to just opt out. And if you do, it's a lot more difficult to opt out of a real in-person relationship. But if it's just something like a Instagram chat or something like that, then, you know, how hard is it really to... Uh, just go to somebody and say, all right, you know, I'm just gonna, just gonna delete the app, right? So the point I'm getting at is it's, it's important to be genuine and it's important to find people who are willing to be genuine because there's a lot of people who just aren't and that's a problem. It's a problem because you can wind up putting a lot of effort into people and then you know, for you, it's a it's a lot of effort, and for them, it's just you know the convenience of of uh, hit and delete whenever they're they're kind of done. You know, there's a a lady who I've known for a while, and uh, you know we haven't really been in touch, but I see her stuff on Facebook, right? And she got married, she had a baby, and the baby died shortly after it was born and i haven't really been in touch but i've seen this sort of playing out on facebook and then i've noticed it's been getting worse like she's just constantly posting pictures of the baby before it died of course and talking about these sort of mournful things about how sad she is and and how much she'll miss the the baby who has died and of course i have a sense of empathy for that because it's it's terrible to have a death in the family right but then i also think about how ridiculous it is at the same time that you have this really terrible thing that has happened and then you have a person who's just going out of their way to post it all over facebook like, doesn't it seem a little crazy? You know, like, 
I, I just feel like that would be a private thing. Like it's not something that you would be posting about constantly because you feel like you need other people to weigh in on it. Like to me, I would just say, you know, like there's no words for that kind of a thing. You just, you'd keep it to yourself and you would grieve in your own way privately with your family. And that wouldn't be a Facebook thing, you know? But it's just, uh, it just was on my mind. It's a kind of a good example of how we have this society that's really, really obsessed with social media exposure. I think we'd be, uh, be Instagramming our own deaths if we have the opportunity to do so, to see how many likes they can get. You know, it's just, it's a little bit wild. But we're, we're always trying to be connected. And that's just how it is. We're trying to be connected. But then we also don't really want any meaningful connections either. So I've tended to think if you, you know, if you treat everything and everyone as disposable, then don't be surprised if your life and your pain winds up getting treated like a joke. Because you can't really have your cake and eat it too. You can't be extremely fickle and then also get the reward of fidelity. And I think that's where it gets frustrating trying to interact with people in a digital society because when you are surrounded by people who are sort of fickle, then you do start to treat everyone sort of like a joke. You treat everyone like a you know, a social media profile that can be turned off when you get tired of it. And then that makes you become disingenuous yourself. And it's easy to just sort of fall into the trap of not really taking anyone seriously because you conclude that no one really can be taken seriously. So it just, it just starts to become a way of life. You know, it's like, it's like, the Japanese people, they have this culture of giving gifts, and so everybody gives gifts when they go visit somebody. And so it's all about being super polite, super nice. So somebody goes to somebody's house, they give them a gift. But then you have to understand the nuance of the culture, and, and that is that if you really want the gift, then you can, uh, you can, you know, you can take it after you say no like three times so like somebody comes in and like oh i gave you a gift and then the other person will say oh no no i couldn't take it of course i couldn't take it and you go back and forth and do this whole little parade and then like after about the third time if they keep on saying no no you have to take it then at that point you can say okay and of course i'll take the gift and then it's a legit real thing but you know that's that's just it's it's obnoxious when you start to feel like you can't take people at face value you have to treat people as being fickle or untrustworthy by default. And then only after maybe they prove themselves multiple times, then you can trust them. Or, you know, no matter how much people say, oh, or, or friends on social media, well, you don't trust that at face value because you know that they might be super friendly today, but they might totally just delete you and move on the next. Uh, you know, it's just, it's just, I think it's something that's frustrating to deal with. And it's something also, I think it's important for us to realize we're all guilty of it to some degree, you know, and it's most important to remember to be honest and straightforward with people. Even if you feel like it's easier to tell like a little white lie or an omission or just, you know, don't say anything because confrontation is uh, uncomfortable or being frank and direct is not natural or something. It's good to just say, you know what, I'm gonna just, just tell the truth to people, lay it out exactly as it is. And if people like it, they like it. If they don't like it, then that's their business, but you just stop, stop trying to be super diplomatic all the time to the point where you're just fake and stop trying to get attention all the time. It's okay for some things to be private and 
you know, you can have something that you don't share with everyone and that doesn't mean you're dishonest. It's just not everything needs to be shared with the world. And it's also important to be to be honest with other people and to expect them to be the same. And if people can't be honest with you, then, you know, as much much as it's difficult to do it, you have to probably say, all right, I'm going to going to move on because nobody really needs toxic people in their life that are that are going to be looking for attention and approval all the time and then also afraid terrified of um, transparent communication so whether it's looking at other people and maybe purging some of those toxic things out of our lives or just looking at ourselves and not being that way i think either way it's important to think about some of this stuff and say you know could we fill our lives with more genuine things in a world that's often filled with disingenuous behaviors in any case running around here it looks like the elder scrolls online game's going offline here at the moment so to wrap up this video in any case wherever you find yourself good luck on your adventure till next time Thanks for watching.